My name is Daniel Pinchback. I'm a writer. I've written two books, uh, Breaking Open the Head and 2012, The Return of Quetzalcoatl. And uh, I guess I deep, you know, mostly think of myself as a writer, journalist, now kind of a philosopher. And um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm you know, very fascinated by uh, shamanism and um, sort of uh, ar- the, ar- the idea of the archaic revival. Uh, bringing back kind of uh, traditional knowledge into our like postmodern context. You know, I've been very fascinated by uh, Alejandro Jodorowsky's work, especially uh, Holy Mountain, to- totally blew me away. And uh, I felt like a great kinship, you know, just um, with his kind of alchemical, revolutionary, surrealist perspective on reality. And I just thought we would, uh, we-, we might vibe well with each other. Hey, I received his book they are two days ago, and I, I read very quickly, reading the book, I know what he's searching. And he's searching for an old knowledge from the Aztec, uh, he's searching also the meaning of the unconscious, the change of our, our uh, civilization, the end of the world, all that, no? Well, it's interesting. I read his spiritual autobiography, uh, I just finished it. That's uh, this book here, and uh, I uh, enjoyed it uh, immensely. I think what really um, fascinates me about him is that mixture of kind of European avant-garde sensibility with this kind of spiritual drive toward uh, enlightenment or illumination or salvation. And those are things that I I feel like I'm trying to sort of draw together in my work. So so that that really um, is, is I think, why I wanted to meet him. I want to show uh, him my my soul and my, my unconscious. I don't want to show, I want to show um, a interior landscape. You're being followed. What? You're being followed. Ah, I'm Daniel. Uh, yes, Daniel. <laughs> you are the person. The person we need to think together. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Ah, I, I think you are not so young. <laughs> well, we, we, what we do? We start. Yeah, yeah, we start. Listen, I, I decide to to invite you here because here is a point where all the ways of France start and finish. When you, you say that number of kilometers, they start here in front of Notre Dame, no? And then in that time, in some time they was started, but I don't know if it's still, it's still there mm-hmm. in, the, in the floor. Hello, here. Oh yeah, this yeah. is it, center point. There. Yeah. <coughs> so you, you uh, got a copy of my book, you read a little of it? They, they, I, I, they sent me three days ago. Well, uh, How I can read all the book? Yeah, yeah. But I see. <laughs> about what you was speaking, no? Yeah, yeah. The crop circle. Crop circle. Speaking. What do you think they, they are? You have an idea? Yeah. What is they? What they are? Uh, I think they're a, a teaching on the nature of consciousness. Is the concept of the, the earth? Uh, no, you, well, you, all consciousness, I guess. I mean, our, our consciousness but also. Who, that, who is doing that? Uh, other levels of galactic intelligence that are beyond the human. Collective Maybe extraterrestrials? Yes. Yeah. That, we are obliged to think that, but uh-huh. it's so incredible, no? Yeah. I propose you another way to think about that. Okay. We will think they are human beings who are doing that. Uh-huh. Yeah? yeah? Human beings. Mm-hmm. But if they are human beings, we need to be astonished. What kind of human yeah, yeah. being can do that? Totally. They need to be very wise. Yeah. Know all the symbols. Yeah. They, need to, they need to have a fantastic technique to make that so quickly, yeah, yeah. so big. Yeah. 
and they cannot be one. Yeah. Need to be a, a group to yeah. make this enormous thing. Need to be a group. Yeah. And then they are, they are, if we say if they are human beings, we need to admit now they are mutants yeah. between us. <laughs> human beings who are mutants, who are doing the most beautiful art of our century, sure. because it's better than everything we see in the museum. True. I mean, there was, um, you know, I talked about in the book, like science uh, evidence, like physicists who've studied what happens to the plants and the formations and find yeah. that there's like um, molecular changes uh, that you yeah. wouldn't find if they were just pushed down. Yes, yes, I read, yeah. 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 Because I read a lot about this. Yeah, yeah. 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 This, the, the, here is the tree with the oldest tree of Paris. Do you believe uh, trees can have some kind of uh, of existence uh, more than a vegetal? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you believe that? Yeah. And uh, you believe that? You need to, to have an emotion to, to see that. Yeah. What do you think so? <laughs> you are scared? What's that? You are scared? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. It's a Go there, <laughs> and then you need to, to bring the the spirit of the of the tree mm. in you. No, mm -hmm. and sometimes I come here, I sit here. You know, see, listen. Yeah, and they are sitting here tranquil. Nobody come here. I think I think they are scared of this tree. Mm -hmm. So your family was a Polish Jewish background, or no, uh, Russian Jewish? Russian my father, Jewish. Russian. My mother half Russian Jewish because she, her mother was raped by a Cossack, a Russian, mm -hmm. and she was the daughter of a rape. And you you grew up all in Chile, early childhood, or I I grew in a little town till nine years, mm -hmm. ten years. The, the person was a little mixed, brown, little nose. Myself, I had a big nose, I was very white. <laughs> I don't have friends. The only way I could uh, take fun was to go to the library and read books, mm -hmm. fairy tale. I read all the library. And then I went out. I forget my family. I never returned. I was 40 years out, mm -hmm. trying to find myself. I don't see my family anymore. Good. Till today, they died. And this was a, some like a hero trip, a hero, because only the hero can kill his family. Oh, really? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I see so many persons who have problems with his mother, with his brother, mm -hmm. with his father. They have enormous problems. They can, the psychoanalysts want a lot of money with that. <laughs> but they cannot solve that problem, no? Uh, they cannot cut. Well, that's the uh, possession trance again. Yes, yeah. yes, it's some kind of possession. I'd say that this uh, ayahuasca religion from Brazil that, that I work with, uh, Santo Daime, yeah. uh, you know, does 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 good work in that regard. You know, like, um, but it seems very similar to the psycho magic, like getting people to actually kind of embody those spirits and and, and then uh, release them. Yeah. And you take the ayahuasca in Brazil, no? I've done it in Brazil, and I and I do it in the United States too. The United States too. Yeah. Uh, was good for you? I love it. Yeah. <laughs> Did you see serpents and crocodiles? Uh, I've seen uh, serpents and spaceships and uh, weird deities. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, it's uh, it's good to have a uh, a ceremonial container. Yes. Uh, to do uh, this type of uh, medicine. And you vomit all the time? No, not always, no. Yeah. Uh, usually I'm happy when I do vomit, though. Yes, okay, right. <laughs> uh, how, how many times you are with the, this, this girl? Well, the girl that you just yes, met? Yes, yes. Oh, no, we've been together, yeah, we've been together for four or five months now. Ah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah, yeah. Well, I thought you meant the girl you're talking about, the medicine I was. No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, she lives with me in New York. Uh, you're happy? Yeah, pretty much. You, find, you find the woman of your life? Um, of, uh, of my life right now. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. She's, she's, she's you, you know love? Do you know how to be in love? I'm not sure, no. I'm not, not sure. sure. Do you? Now. Yeah? I, I, I now I find the woman of my life at 76 years. Oh. When you find that, it's evident. There are no any more doubt. Yeah, yeah. It's absolute certainty. It's, it's evident. They are, 
there you don't fear is is that yeah. for the two of them no is is that but it's very difficult to find that very difficult no? yeah well, i've been uh, i mean i wrote about in the last book um wondering about uh you know monogamy and wondering if maybe like uh, alternative uh, relationship models are are possible or, or make sense um monogamy is not is you are not uh, is not real love it's not truth mm -hmm. but when you have this certain this, when you find this thing no mm. the treasure you find mm. the treasure you are you are you, you are not monogam but you don't need any more no yeah, yeah. nothing more right huh? Makes sense. nothing more that is good so why did it take 76 years then to, uh, to find this because i was a neurotical <laughs> guy because yeah. my, my family was terrible uh, neurotical you said neurotical oh, yeah. yes and then i i need to heal myself i do i didn't believe my, my mother loved me never he never touched me huh? never 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 and then I live like that. I say my mother doesn't love me. No? And then the woman doesn't love me. I didn't believe. Mm. And one day she, my mother mo, uh, died you know, in Peru, but I have a sister and send me a letter. I say, there are 30 years I have this letter your mother sent to you. I forget to send to you. And this letter was a love declaration of my mother. Well, different. I, went, I can show you, I put in a frame, after that, I find the woman of my life. Well, that is why we are possessed mm. for the family, you know? Mm -hmm. It's a kind of possession, mm -hmm. no? Sometimes I feel like, or in the past, I mean, I'm, I'm uh, happy uh, in this relationship for the time being at least, but I, I felt, I almost feel in the past that um, it almost like has kept me working and kept me curious and to not have that kind of partnership. Um, I almost feel like some some force is some spiritual force is keeping me from from that kind of uh, state of grace that uh, you describe. Mm. And tell me, how you start? What was your first searching? Why why you start to because you are broken the the normal uh, definition of rational, mm -hmm. of the rational, mm -hmm. no? You are going deep into Jung and all the mm -hmm. all the opening, no, of the mind. Mm -hmm. Why? Uh, it started, I had a uh, real deep uh, kind of existential crisis uh, in my late 20s. Uh, yeah. I was working in New York City, I was writing for magazines as a journalist, and yeah. it all just seemed totally uh, empty, and I felt like uh, there was no, no ground, you know, it just seemed, because I came out of a sp sort of a skeptical, you know, mm -hmm. materialist background. My father was an abstract uh, painter, uh, and he never really wanted to have a child. Uh, she, my mother got pregnant, she really wanted to have a child, and so she did it, and, and he was never really able to, uh, to commit to, to that responsibility, because it wasn't really something that he had wanted. And then you, you was more in a union with your mother, Yeah. and your lack of father. What was the name of your father? Uh, Peter Pinchbeck. Peter Pinchbeck. your mother? Uh, Joyce Johnson. Yeah. 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 And she was also, she was from a, the cultural background, uh, she was a writer, she's a writer still. And uh, she was part of the, the Beat generation. Yeah, yeah. She was involved with uh, Jack Kerouac oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, in the late 50s. Uh, she was with him when On the Road came out. Mm -hmm. um, so somehow I think that this uh, deep kind of um, cultural ambition you know, towards you know, creative transformation like, came, came from both of them maybe, but, but you know, especially maybe from, from her. You know, there was some kind of uh, anticipation you know, or something. Yeah. And, and then in the, in the media world that I was in, I just felt that there was, it was a, a dead world, really. So I had to kind of stop the career I was in and, and, and reassess. And then I remembered my uh, psychedelic uh, experiences that I'd had in college as the only time I'd felt kind of, um, you know, the access to some other form of uh, consciousness. Um, you are speaking about 2012, mm -hmm. no? Mm -hmm as uh, a possibility of the end of the world. Oh, I would say the end of a world. Uh, a world, no. yeah. <laughs> yes. But tell me, if, if, I, I, if we play the game mm -hmm. and we think in, you have three years uh -huh. to go to a new life, you. Uh -huh. 
Well, I, I, to a certain extent, I, well, what I've will already, change you in three years? Well, to, to a certain extent, I feel like myself and many people that I'm, the, the community that I'm yeah. part of, has made a kind of uh, shift already in that. Um, We've kind of recognized that uh, the limits of, of the modern rational system and, and the capitalist game and have kind of begun to reintegrate this traditional knowledge and, and shamanism. Beyond that, I think we can see that the, the tower you know, of modern civilization is crumbling. Yes. And, and so within this time that's available, I think a, a new um, you know, model of, of, of society you know, can be um, can be constructed and, and, and people can begin to shift into it. But the revolution is not useful now. We cannot make revolution. Well, we have to. We cannot. And then we need to make mutation. Mutation. And then I think naturally the human being will mutate yeah, from yeah. one day to the other, will start to be born different. What yeah, maybe it? not even born. Maybe, and then maybe, go maybe to make something. a child with this girl. Me? Yeah, to see it. Go to make a child. Mm -hmm. Fornication, a child, and we have a mutant. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> Maybe two or three. <laughs> well, they are tired. Maybe we need to Sorry. go. We Should need to around? go. We need to go. I don't know where. <laughs> yeah. It's your city. I follow you. Ciao. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Matusalem. Ciao. Goodbye. <laughs> Well, I have a nice time. I'm no? loving it, absolutely. Yeah, it's great to meet you. I'm really, I'm really happy. Yeah. We are two, two in a known person. Yeah. We have the pleasure to, to speak. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> I'm going to sit down for a second and do this. Why do you smoke? Um, I actually started smoking in 2003 in the, uh, when I was in the Amazon. Uh, yes. And I just picked it up. Why? You want to live 800 years? No, but on the other hand, the Taoist uh, guy that I know, he smokes like a factory. <laughs> Look me, I have 80 years. Uh -huh. I am speaking I, like a normal person. Yeah, yeah. 80 years. And then, but I, I think because I don't drink alcohol. Yeah, yeah I, I pretty much stopped that. Yeah, I don't smoke. Yeah. No, really, even coffee I don't take now. Eh? Because I decide, well, how many years I will live? More, mm -hmm. no? 120 and we'll be happy, yeah. or more. Because when you have 50 years, what, how, you're 40, no? 40, 43. 43. When you come to 50 years, you have a shock. You think you are not anymore young and calm the, the nerve. When you, you are in 60 years, you think you are out of society. And 70, you think you will never love. Mm. It's finished. Well, yeah, 80, I am starting. I am starting. I have nothing to lose. No? I didn't want to do this interview in the beginning. Yeah. Because I was tired. They assisted me. They assisted me and then I said, well, I will do it. But I, I, I did because I wanted. Yeah, yeah. I was not obliged. Because, but you take fun. Yeah. No? Take fun. And, well, we need to go. Okay. Yeah. Francisco, me ha dicho de mandé. Très bien. Merci beaucoup. Es el deuxième étage. Deuxième étage. Ya, merci. Te ah. podré contar con bien de rayón, Ilia, ¿eh? Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, once, doce, trece, catorce, quince, dieciséis, siete, siete, ocho, nueve, veinte. Es twenty, twenty, ¿no? And you have a circle with a point. The circle with a point in the alchemy is the symbol of gold. Mm -hmm. Is this solar? Is mm -hmm. solar? And the, the what I give to you 
the calendar Aztec, no, mm -hmm. have 20 symbols mm -hmm. around the circle, mm -hmm. like that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then mm -hmm. we need to say, in the mind is everything. It's not Aztec. Uh -huh. It's not French. Right. It's not alchemical. Right. It's the mind. Uh -huh. No? Uh -huh. And the crop circle is the mind. Mm -hmm. Why there? Why this plant? Why not uh, another plant? Well, they use different plants. Why, why not in the sun? Uh, yeah, that's an interesting question. It might go back uh, to um, suggesting something about uh, agriculture and the origin yeah. of civilization. Yeah. Um, also, um, it might be that uh, they're pointing towards, in the same way that we cultivate uh, crops, yeah. uh, we're also being uh, cultivated as uh, spiritual beings. Maybe. Maybe. That is a key or what? I think, uh, let me see. 26. All right, so. Andres and fornicate? <laughs> no? No. no I am I don't see the future, mm -hmm. huh? only the present. You can ask it something, mm -hmm. or you cannot ask it nothing, as you want. Mm -hmm. Something. And what is the question? Mm. I suppose how to find some level of uh, happiness or contentment in relationships. Happiness in the relationship. In relationships, yeah. Okay, yeah. three cards. In the one, two, three. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. How to find happiness in the relationship? I really don't know what the tarot will say. I really don't know <laughs> what the question. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> it's not bad because it's a it's a progression. You have 10, 15, 16. Mm -hmm. The principal problem in the relation is, this, this, is the sexuality. Mm -hmm. It's the principal. I will tell you why if you permit sure. to be a little, it, a little intimate. Yeah, go for it. You tell me in the tree, your mother is, uh, was writer, no? Intellectual. Mm -hmm. And then your mother was mother-father with you. Feminine, masculine, mixed. You understand that? Mm -hmm. okay. Then why you have here the diablo, the, the evil, who have breast, but phallus. No, it's, it's, a, it's a kind of hermaphrodite. Mm -hmm. yeah? The conception you have of the woman is a dominant woman. And that is your fear mm. of a dominant woman. Well, uh, you need some kind of freedom, mm -hmm. eh? and freedom of all kind of imposition, mm -hmm. sexual imposition, mm -hmm. economical imposition, emotional imposition, and mental imposition. Mm -hmm. you, need to, you want to be free, you, you mm -hmm. want a relation, you, you, you are free in one, one, one in your life. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah, so for, for me, this whole question is, um, and in some way, I think maybe it's, it's also like um, the larger question of the 60s, in a way, kind of leaves to us, which is yes. like, how does one uh, reconcile uh, freedom and responsibility? Because uh, there's this, it's, I mean, it seems to me there's something um, that, that, that there are ways that women and men just desire different things, you know, or maybe it's just me as a man uh, desiring different things than the women that I become uh, intermeshed with, you know. When I see you, Mm -hmm. no? You need to live 20 more years in order to open, open yourself, mm. your heart, 
because uh, I see you, uh, a person who is not able in the moment, I can, to very uh, to trust another person and to open your heart, very difficult. When you was uh, young, you see your father uh, broke uh, mm -hmm. his relation, mm -hmm. and you have a bad experience there, no? Yeah. And then, as I tell you, that go into the mind and possess you, mm. huh? and maybe you you will feel you are trapped than something. It's a struggle. Struggle, no? Yeah, but, but I mean, um, when I wrote the previous books, it was uh, you know also a time of tremendous like kind of uh, isolation in yes. certain respects. At forty years old, you you have to to need not only a writer, you need to have a human life, mm. not to save the humanity all the time. Mm. Eh? Uh, how many times in a week do you give flowers to your girl? Mm. You Probably are, more like uh, once in a few months. <laughs> <laughs> what is the last time you give flowers to your woman? Uh, it was about a month ago, three weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Uh, it's not bad, but it's no. not enough. Not enough. Not enough, uh, no? Good to know. <laughs> uh, a, and a, you, what's your answer to that? <laughs> I, 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 myself, because my woman is very young for me, uh -huh. and then I make an effort. <laughs> I say to him, I don't only give flowers, I give chocolate. <laughs> she loves the chocolate, I give you a big box of chocolate. I, I, um, I work in order to satisfy her, mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. I realize that a human being without something at, at his side is a lost one. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Right, it took me a long time to figure uh, that out. Yeah. It's only in the last year that I began to feel that in a very devastating uh, way. It's terrible. Yeah, yeah. 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 And then we need to make a little effort. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I don't know if you're able to make that kind of romantic effort. Eh? Mm -hmm. Because how many times a day you say to her, I love you? Uh, a day. Every day, how many times you say I love you? Uh, probably a couple of times, but it's usually in response to her saying it first. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then, you see, you, if you want to be happy, you need to give. Mm -hmm. This, listen, what do you give? You give to yourself. Mm -hmm. And what you don't give, you lost yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Huh? Putting her here. If you put the, the past in the past, you find the world. Mm. I found the realization mm. right, with the world. The world is the realization with the woman, with everything you want. No? Mm -hmm. But you need to put the past in the past. All the bitter experience mm. in the past. Mm -hmm. There you can go. Mm. Good one. Good one. <laughs> <laughs> we did it. I see we did it. I don't know. <laughs> That what you were saying about um, you know kind of rejecting the uh, past, rejecting the bitterness of the past. Yes. Um, I kind of understand that or know it already, but I don't necessarily know how to actually do it. <laughs> your father is alive. No, no, he died. Died. And your mother is alive. She's alive. Yeah. Do you have clothes of your father? Nothing. No. Do I have what? Clothes. Close? How many that? I do have a shirt of his. You have a shirt of your father? One shirt, yeah. Yeah. And I have all of his paintings, too. Yes. Can you have a, a clothes of your mother? Costume? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
then you need to leave that with put a, a shirt of your father mm -hmm. and have a painting of him mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. have a painting somewhere no? and put to your fiancé, your woman mm -hmm. the costume of your mother that's the costume mm -hmm. of your mother and I sleep with her, dressed like that live with her dressed like that? yeah, live, I sleep with her, make huh. love with her huh. like this and then you will, you will you will let go out the fixation. <laughs> no, I don't think I can do that. One. Why not? <laughs> you, 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 why not? You are an artist. You are a She's writer. She's very tall, and my mother's very short. First of all, the clothes are going to look silly. No, me. <laughs> you, 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 you see, when you was child, you see your mother very tall. Hmm. Do you think soldiers are necessary? What's that? Soldiers. Do you think they are necessary? No, I think we can. Uh, we can. Uh, we cannot finish trans trans that? Transform the world Armies. into Why? peaceful. I think we can get rid of all that. <laughs> uh, I really like uh, the the sort of Gandhi perspective that um, you know the problem is that. Um, we educate people, you know, we, we teach them how to read, we teach them to be literate, but we should also be training them in nonviolence, you know, in the, in the same way. But, you know, there is no kind of human nature as such. It's, 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 um, it's an open field. So then, if we, if we become... One, one way I look at the shift would be to, sh to say that it's the shift from the physical and biological phase of our species evolution to the consciousness, the conscious and psychic phase of our evolution. And, and as that happens, we become um, co-creative with the process of evolution. Either we make this shift on a species level, which means really um, sharing uh, resources equitably and really bringing everybody up to a higher level of being and culture, you know, or, or, or we probably won't make it as a species. Well, we need some years. What's that? We need some years, more than three. Yeah. talking about uh, Hanuman? Yes. Uh, uh, no, no, sorry, you're talking about Ganesh, the monkey god? Si, 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 the, the little rat. The, the mouse, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the ego. What's that? He's the, the little rat, is yeah. the ego. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. The, the essential being is enormous, no? Mm -hmm. In a little rat. Yeah, yeah. And you have inside an enormous gold yeah. in a little writer. <laughs> 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 it's very child, all that, like a child. For a child? Child, it's, it's a game. It's a, yeah, yeah. Can you believe in something like that? You are not do representation of gods. Mm -hmm. eh? what, do you, what do you mean? Not, not, represent, not a sculpture of gods. No? No, nothing. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, because the gods, we cannot think about the gods. Mm, it kind of helps to have a reference point, no? Uh, you, you need reference. Oh, I don't know. Wow, okay. Do you, you need reference, why not? Why not? I don't need reference. I mean, I mean, I like, uh, well, I mean, in my book I talked about the Quetzalcoatl, the feathered serpent. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's a good, um, I mean, you know, you, if you like, what's the difference between um, um, a story or even a joke and a representation of a god? It's something to kind of uh, hang on to. Yeah, but in the serpent with f feathers, mm -hmm. you have the union of the sky, right. the spirit who materializes, and the matter who spiritualizes. It's a good symbol. But that is a good symbol. Yeah. And so is the, you don't think that the thousand arms are as good a symbol? It's a very nice symbol in order to be anywhere, no? Yeah. But uh, I prefer more abstract the mysticism mm -hmm. myself, no? Mm -hmm. It's a preference, no? I like to... Uh, if you want Mickey Mouse, I can put Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. Mouse. <laughs> like Buddha. With a lot of arms. Want, With a lot of gloves. <laughs> <laughs>
an uh, ayahuasca experience recently where I felt where I, that I was communicating with um, extraterrestrials. Extraterrestrials? Uh, yeah, a group of extraterrestrials from the star system Sirius. Mm -hmm. And they explained to me that they'd actually given up all of their technology, that they had gone uh, post technological and kind of just returned to. Uh, Wait a second, you speak with some of extraterrestrial person, you are Well, it was like a telepathic uh, conversation. And you had a telepathic conversation, I went, yeah. okay. They, they, yeah, you know, maybe it was my fantasy. Yes. But then, it's what I experienced, you know. Out, um, out of thing, farther than technic. What's that? They was farther going they far were, than they, the technic. They had given up on technology. They had disbanded. They'd gone through a similar crisis as we're going through, yes. and their resolution had been to just um, disassemble uh, technology, and um, even stuff like extending the lifespan or whatever didn't really interest them. Yes. Um, they really just liked um, kind of uh, living in the world as as, as it was given to them. making a company and the company will need to live to live mm -hmm. and you will start to to work to make money only well this the, not the, the, the company the company that we're, we've created um is called evolver mm -hmm. and um what it really came out of actually was was um my kind of idea that um if we were to think about uh, corporations as the most powerful kind of engines for transformation that humans had ever created they were also this tremendous poison on the earth so if you think in terms of alchemy, you have to convert poisons into medicines. Mm -hmm. So if you could take that same um, engine, but um, kind of tilt it differently, you know, so that it was um, engaged in a positive uh, transformation process, it might be able to, um, you know, kind of, kind of uh, work against, you know, or break the spell of, 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 the, of the system. We need to promote collective manifestation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, if there was to be some type of rapid um, transition or maybe like transmutation of human society, like uh, what what part do you think that uh, art would play? Art, yeah. Art for healing. healing? I am telling that mm. art need to heal the person. Mm. No, not need to give something. Mm. An in intimate experience. The conceptual art is finished. Conceptual art for the moment is finished. Mm -hmm. It's only a business for the museums. Mm -hmm. But you need to change it. You need to go to another kind of art, a useful art. Because we don't need to destroy anymore ourselves or, or the world with art. Mm -hmm. We need to construct. That was super delicious, by the way. Thank you. This is an example. <laughs> FR session, here we have anything, no? The la psychology, aquí is la misma. Ego tech, myself there, poetry, jokes, <laughs> family. I have a tarot also for you. That is for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> and here is magic. This corner is magic. China, Japan, <laughs> India, and tarot. <laughs> Symbolism, Jewish philosophy. Like this, yeah. this is uh, Freud. Freud. <laughs> <laughs> Padre Pio Santa Teresa. What is he saying to the uh, Buddha in that picture? <laughs> the Buddha. Freud with the Buddha. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that was my master of sin. Uh -huh. Yotakata was my sin master. Uh -huh. huh? Yeah, he sounded beautiful in the, in the book. He would. 
de, de Ander, this is my character of ghost comics. Mm -hmm. This, John the Fool. No? This is the letter of my mother. Uh -huh. This is the letter of my mother when he says she loved me, you know? In 30 years. Oh. That is the scene. And these boxes? Ah, the, the, this guy is a big, big, big uh, person who made perfume in Italy. Perfume for the Queen of England. Mm -hmm. eh? But he loved my book, and then he sent me a perfume he invited for me. Nice. You can't you, you can mess me. <laughs> I have my personal <laughs> person. It's a spiritual. Where uh, is this? The hole. But give me the hand. Mm -hmm. It's a spiritual, see. The spiritual, the spiritual. No, it's not bad. No, it's not bad, no? no, no, no. But it's a spiritual perfume. And he sent me all that. <laughs> It's nice when you get kind of just uh, rewards like that from creative work. Uh, uh, yes, I can. Somebody, somebody's making a suit for me now in uh, Portland yeah. just because they love my work and they came and took that all my That is nice, fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Where is it that you want me to put the chamomile? In the table, please, Pascalita. Okay. Thank you. 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 The first time I take drugs, LSD, was a master of Arica training. What's that? It's a, a, a movement, a mystical movement in New York. Mm -hmm. The name was Arica. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, the name of the guy was Oscar Ichazo. Okay, right. Mm -hmm. And I, I wanted to know how, how was a master, and then I hired him. I went, he, uh, he asked $17,000 to come to Mexico. Well. Se, seventeen. Thousand, no? to come to Mexico to illuminate me. <laughs> and then I was anxious, no? because I was a master. And then he opened a little paper, was a, a orange powder, mm -hmm. a was a, the, the most pure LSD. Mm -hmm. And then give me that. Maybe I don't take drugs, take that. And he gave me that, and then he gave me, uh, one hour after, a cigarette of marijuana, yeah, I start to have visions hmm. a lot, and that was my initiation. <laughs> what year was that? Eh? What year was that? When I started to make the holy mountain. Yeah, I, I had a feeling that um, I could, I could like uh, feel a little bit of the influence of uh, LSD yes. uh, on the holy mountain. I, I needed to know who, how was the uh, open mind of a master. I don't have mm -hmm. in that mm -hmm. time, no. I wanted to know, and then the only way to do it was to do this experience was eight hours of experience. Uh, in a second time, in an hotel, another take it. Mm -hmm. Eight hours. But he sit me in front of a Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola advertisement. <laughs> and the Coca-Cola was turning, because I was wrong. Here I was, there, I was like this, like this, and then open, and then was doing that, Coca-Cola, no? It's like, it was like a mandala, no? and it was there, there. Uh, I can say if I get illuminated, it was with the Coca-Cola symbol. <laughs> he surprised me, mm -hmm. because I think he will teach me secrets, mm -hmm. no? <laughs> like big secrets, no? <laughs> of Sufism, of Gurdjieff. No, 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 he gave me the LSD, that is all. <laughs> and he gave me the trip, no? Uh, it was interesting. For me, it was very interesting. But I will not repeat that. Well, listen. This, I uh, have some comics. I don't know what number. I'm fascinated, is. yeah, I'm really curious. What is this number? See, because mm. I, I think there are two. Dinkal. Uh -huh. And Dinkal. This is his Moebius, it's, uh, one of the bigger mm -hmm. Moebius. And you can spare all these? It's, it's okay? Uh, you don't need these for your archive? No, no, no. It's fabulous. Thank you very much. I'm excited. I don't know if you have that. That is a cancer, but it's only a part of the... But in order to see what is a comic. In Europe, comic are art. Yeah, yeah. You know? It's not like in America. Like in America, the, the big commercial thing are, are comic with superheroes, no? Mm -hmm. But that, the, the drawings are making art. Oh, it's beautiful. Sometimes people ask me what I um, expect to be doing on December 21st, 2012. 
and I say that I hope to be um, having a cup of tea with friendly extraterrestrials. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> It's the extraterrestrial come till the earth, and we forget all the history of they come to eat us. Yeah, I don't, uh, they can be friends. They can be. Yes, for sure. Sure. Um, we, why will come here? With the, um, well, why do we go? I mean, um, you know, why do why did I come to Paris? You know, to meet interesting people, right? Yes, to hang out. To see, to see what it is, no. This is your. Yeah, yeah. It's number four, four. One, two, three, four. Why you come like that? Why? There are elevators there. <laughs> I needed to work Yeah. Hey, Kitty, hey, what's going on? I think we'll finish, no? Yeah, yeah, I think so, yeah. Yeah, yeah sit down. We'll, finish, we'll, <laughs> we'll say the, the last word. <laughs> Thank you so much for sharing time with me. I really, yes, uh, I really enjoyed it very much. very funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a good time. Yeah. We make a conversation. Yeah. But in English, how? <laughs> I don't speak English. I speak English like, you know, Speedy Gonzalez. Arriba, arriba. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah Speedy Gonzalez. Yeah, your English is better than Speedy's. Speedy yeah. Gonzalez's. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for listening to all my nonsense. Yes. Thank about, you, uh, thank you, know, you to. Prof we'll, go, we'll take care here, no? Yo, no, she's gonna come out. And thanks for that really delicious dinner. I loved it. I loved it. And this house is uh, magnificent. Thank yeah. you. Ciao. Goodbye. Ciao. Goodbye. He forget, he forget, my gift. Ah. <coughs> what is it? ¿Cómo se llama? <coughs> you forget my gift. <laughs>